Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to service now 911. In today's video, we are discussing about workspace. So recently we have seen various workspaces in service now. Let's say CMDB workspace. Let me open it. So this is the overview of uh, CMDB workspace. You see various modules are available. CI search, CI overview. You have the option to search. You have the option to create a new CI. Okay, all the options which are required for any agent or any person who works on CMDB uh, is available here all in a single frame. Okay so that there will be no wastage of time as well as the work will be managed in a very seamless way okay so it is a task oriented interface which is available for n number of people let's say for a service tax agent or for cmdb agent or for hr agent in a nutshell you can say based on various roles and responsibilities we have the option to design the workspaces so that it will be more inclusive with respect to the work which these agents or these uh, particular groups are doing so based on the requirement from any of the group let's say uh, service techs we can design uh, separate workspaces for different different roles for different different people for different different groups okay but how to create all these type of workspaces so for that we have to go to the ui builder under now experience framework you have this ui builder application so here you see in the ui builder we have the options to create all these things like agent workspace like portal okay and various other components various other utilities we can design in this ui portal so let me find out uh, the cmdb one which we just have seen do you see here cmdb workspace let me open it so look at this it is just a drag and drop options and it is very interesting we can create anything we can create any number of options in this particular uh, ui builder very unique concept okay all these tables are available here and all the properties with respect to each and every utility which we pick and drop here is available here you can uh, configure it you can change the style you can add the event all these are only achievable by using this ui builder so in the next classes we try to start with the ui builder it is a very interesting thing okay so this is it for today's video guys okay thank you so much bye bye